Hello, how are you today? We are back. We are doing our beautiful Mary Mantle's consecration. We're getting the 46 stars on her mantle. Today, star number 21 of 46 is the star of counsel. And that's counsel. strange because today the novena is the spirit of counsel. Oh my gosh, the Holy Spirit is amazing. That's perfect. Yeah, that's what that's the novena today. Falls right into place always. The Holy Spirit's amazing. So amazing. One and this is one of the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit is counsel. Mm -hmm. When they hand you over, do not worry about how to you are to speak or what you are to say, for it will not be you. Who speak, but the spirit of your father speaking through you. Matthew 10, 19. The world needs people with the gift of counsel, witnesses to the commandments, to all that Christ taught us. With the gift of counsel, a person can judge rightly and promptly. The Holy Spirit instantly enlightens the heart regarding what he is to say or do. And through his gift, the spirit wishes to advise others, even when the message may be widely unpopular. The problem is we as Catholics often lack character. We see all about us things that appall and distress our souls, yet we remain mute. Has God not given us tongues and the gift of speech? Then we must speak. Has God not given us multiple and creative means of communicating his truth with love? Then we must share it. And if the Holy Spirit does not prompt us with strong words against wrongdoing in a particular moment, then he asks us to address him quietly within our hearts, calling down merciful rain from heaven upon the offenders. By this, we will win merits for ourselves and nourish the soil of their soul. Quite simply, we need to form solid Christ-like characters. Our mere presence should be a form of counsel. It should be enough to signal that certain types of behavior and conversations are good and others are not acceptable. To say it another way, a mother is in a room with her baby who was just beginning to crawl. The little child sees a fire in the corner of the room and delights in the sparks. She says to herself, I must go over and play with it. The little child crawls toward the heat and the light and the mother suddenly sees where she is headed. She knows what that if she does reach her before the girl reaches if she her doesn't baby. if she doesn't reach her she knows that if she doesn't reach her before the girl reaches the fire her daughter will get burned and the mother acts even though the child will likely misunderstand the mother's goodwill and intent a mother looks out for all her children in this way she makes herself aware of the appealing bright traps that the evil one is setting for them. What the children are seeing may appear attractive, but if they dive into its flames, they are going to get hurt. Amen. Wow, that's wow. so that's so perfect because we feel that all the time with our children. We feel it with our friends. We feel it with our loved ones and with those we see out on the street. Sometimes we're we don't want to say anything because we don't want to offend, you know, but right. sometimes there's ways and ways of sharing and saying things and just leaving things unnoticed is. Like and sometimes, sometimes you can't worry about the way you're saying it. You just have to say, get away from that fire. You know, exactly. exactly. You, you can't worry. Sometimes it's if truth is going to hurt people, truth must be said. And that's. Yeah we're supposed to say it one of my pet peeves is especially my kids and even my husband who people out there when they use the name of god in vain yeah. why do they yeah. got to do that so 
right after it, I say it out loud. I say a little prayer to him after it, and then say, "Well, you need to me. say it. Like, you need to say it to them." My, well, you know no. what, my mother. You know what I my say mother it used out to loud, do? and they hear me, and they go, "Oh." My mother used I to do. My mother used to do this. If you said the Lord's name in vain, my mother used to go, "Oh my God!" Oh, oh. She'd be like, "Oh my God! Don't say that." You know what I mean? She'd be like, she would say, "Oh my God!" When they said, See, my, "Yeah," if I do, if something someone like that, said Jesus Christ, yeah. my mom would say, "Oh my God!" Oh my well, God! I just don't follow say it that. With, with, "Oh Lord, you know we love you." She didn't mean to say that, or he didn't mean to say that. We well, love that's you probably that. a better way of doing it. I'm just because telling then you my mom's it's not way. like because people like point at you. Oh, look at this girl. She's so righteous or whatever you know and so right. i'm like okay no i'm you know. i'm not saying that's the right way <laughs> yeah. your way your way of prayer is a much better way no it's we all superior. have our ways yeah we're, we're all no different. no 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 that is a superior way to pray but my mother see if you're not this is this is the thing if you're not if you are living in darkness and in sin, you don't see the Holy Spirit has a hard time getting through the sin blocks out the light of the Holy Spirit. So people think, well, there's nothing wrong with what I'm doing. Yeah, what? What? And so for the Holy Spirit to get through, you know, there has to be goodness there. There has to be some light there and if you don't have light it's hard to see the whole the holy spirit has a hard time get getting into your noggin yes in the beginning of this when this reading first started it talked about the lord putting things into your mouth well remember i went through a crime and when i had to go to court um i was so afraid of what i was saying and so my mother said look Jesus on one side, um, uh, uh, Mary on the other, and St. Michael behind you. And, and she said, God is going to put the right words in your mouth. And I'm going to tell you something. You may have never been to court, but if you've been to court, you know, one wrong word and the judge will dismiss every single thing you say and your attorney. When you're in court, the tension is so tight. One thing could change where justice will not be served. Court is an extremely dangerous place to be. And your mouth is an extremely dangerous thing when you're in court. So that's why when my mother said that, I wish she would have told me about St. Joseph, which she, you know, a lot of people, we didn't know until we did the consecration to St. Joseph. I wish she would have said, um, Mary on one side, St. Joseph on the other, Jesus right here on this, on this shoulder and, um, uh, St. Michael here, you know, I wish she would have shown me that and then said, and all the angels and saints behind you. You know what I mean? I really, you know, she didn't know, but she gave me something. That was a spiritual tool that I needed at such a scary time that I had to make sure that justice was served. So here, now, now they go into about the mother with the child. You and I as mothers know, we often tell our kids, if you're not careful, you know, this is going to happen because we could see it coming or can you hear the Holy Spirit or are you too much in sin that you can't hear? So I, I the counsel of the Holy Spirit is very important. But if you are flooded with sin, there's there's a book called um, there's a book called. Um, uh, what is it called? Um, it's purple. And it says what we believe. I'm going to try to find, I'll take a picture of it um, and I'll put it in the links, but um, it's uh, what we believe. And it has, it has uh, um, what we believe in very short, simple things about being Catholic. And, and it has the sh a shirt, a white shirt of your baptism. But every time a sin is on it, there's a blot, a black spot. And so it explains to you. 
And I'm going to tell you something that really gave me a, a vision with our children, our young people, we have to give them something, an image. I'm going to work on trying to, br I tried to bring that book to life in my little lessons, but I haven't gotten back to it. I have all these projects and I have a hard time getting back to them sometimes, which is why I'm not going tonight to um, the pierced heart thing, because I just, I'm working on so many projects right now and I'm getting behind. Uh, look how behind I am in my catechism. Go ahead. You were saying. Well, well um, one thing I've noticed, and, and I mean, I've been there, I have been there where we are so living in the world in such a degree that we feel that if we go to church, why are we even going? Because we know, you know, right. we know us, we shouldn't be there. I felt that way. I felt that way. That's why confession but the church is, is so a hospital. amazing. But the church yes. is a hospital for yeah. sinners, not yeah. a museum for saints. Well, see, I think that's he called the problem. The, he, he didn't call the righteous. Yeah. He called the sinners. I that's that's where we're, we're all going to church as sinners. We're not going there to be a museum of saints. It is a hospital for the spiritually, yeah. uh, to be healed. So go yeah. ahead. I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no. Um, oh, my, um, you know, my girls, my girls, they, they love God. They love God because especially right. Sabina, mm -hmm. Gabby, I can't tell. I hope I'm sure he's still in there, but Bina, I, 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 she's just so amazing. You know, she always, she's always, she always has him in her. I can tell because she speaks about him. She speaks, you know, she prays at work with everybody. She prays with the parents. She's a nurse. She prays with the parents and she's. That's she why I told you food. she would be a she, good nurse. She, she always she has, has a conscience. conscience. She always has God present. But yet when I say let's go to mass or whatever, um, I can tell that she doesn't want to do it because there's, you know, they both live with, with, with their boyfriends. Right. And, and that's, I know that that's, that's the reason the and yeah. that's the only thing they're doing. Everything else, they're wonderful people and they, right. you know, they pray. And I you tried know, to take my daughter to, to just, confession, the same thing. She said, I cannot go to confession, mom. She said, because, because she's going to continue doing it. They're not going to stop. She said, she said so, it's more yeah. of a sin if I go in there and say, I'm sorry when I'm, she says, I'm not. And I'm like, but now those things are starting to, they're affecting her conscience. It's all about conscience, which is why I told you when Sabina was thinking about doing, uh, becoming a, a physician assistant, I said, no, she needs to become a nurse because not only will she have flexibility for when she has children and is married, but she has such a good conscience because she did, yeah, she was she a hotel well, she was a hotel manager. And when she told me some of the stories of, of how she handled things, I'm like, oh, she needs to be in nursing because she will be a great administrator. I didn't think that right away because she wasn't thinking of nursing when she first started telling me those yeah. stories about her work and how she had to handle things. She would talk about, um, you know, having to manage, she had to manage a whole hotel. I'm like, as soon as she told me about a physician assistant, I'm like, no, you need to be a nurse because she'll end up being, I, I'm going to tell you right now, she will end up being a DON. Mark my words, rem keep the 21st star Someday your daughter will be the director of nursing. Okay. <laughs> they tried to make me, they, they, they tried to make me the director of nursing of the home health agency that I was at. And I'm like, oh no. They're like, you know, you're, but you're the only nurse that gets her notes in on time. I'm like, yeah, I get my notes in on time. So I want my paycheck. If you don't get your notes in on time. You're not getting your paycheck and I need my paycheck. So they'd be like, yeah, but you're the only one that does everything right. And you're the only one that, that, um, da, 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 da. and I'm like, yeah, but I, I'm not a paperwork person. I'm not, I mean, look at what I'm trying to do all our projects and I can't get them done. No, you have to have good follow through and I have a hard time. So anyway, but, but Sabina, like I told Elizabeth, you're going to be a better nurse than I was because I'm not good with all that. I'm not administrative. The Elizabeth is very sensate like Sabina. And she's like, she's very organized. Sabina's very organized. Look, Sabina went in there. She now Sabina, she just went in there. She's very, uh, 
academic and she just went in and took her classes. She already had her bachelor's. All she had to do was go in there and take her nursing. She, I think she had to take yeah. one or two sciences yeah. for her prerequisites. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She and only needed a couple of COVID. sciences. And it's because but. of COVID, because COVID, you know, laid her off at the hospital. And she's like, I'm not going to sit here and wait around. I'm going to go back to school and go for nursing. So I'm no, like, oh no, 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 no. COVID, she was laid off at the hotel, not the yeah. hospital. Not the hospital. Goes, no, no, no. She goes at the hospital. Never going to be laid off. If something exactly. ever happens again, they always need nurses. Oh no! And I want to be up there. I want to go help. And I'm like, oh, okay. And now look at her. Now she's going to get her master's. Yes, Same I'm thing. telling yeah. you, she's going to be director of nursing. And she, um, when she went, she already had her bachelor's. So all she needed, I think she, I think she had to do a, a science or two her prerequisites, right? Oh, I don't I know. Think I, she, just, I think I she know. only needed a. I think she only needed one or two sciences, if I remember correctly. And I'm like, you know, that's all she needed to do. And boom, she got right in nursing. She was like, boom, 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 boom. I told you she's going to be a director. Mark my words. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. So anyway. Yeah, today, guys, counsel. So counsel. concentrate on counseling. And don't be afraid to go out there and speak up. You know, what's the worst that yeah. can happen? Somebody can give you a weird expression, but it'll get them thinking. It'll get them thinking, and maybe they might think twice next time. And God up there is going to be the one giving you the money in the heavenly bank, which is all I care about. I just want to have money in my heavenly bank. That is not all you care about, Jim. I know, I know, I know. But that's like a big thing. It's more than having money here and that's worrying right. about that's what right. people think. Oh, my that's goodness. Right. Yesterday, I was talking to my friend um, Sue and Jean last night. When we, do, when we were doing, because we get together at night, which is a great idea, guys, on Zoom, you can get together with your friends for a half an hour at night, and yeah. you can yeah. share about your day, and you can share, we, we listen to Bible study in a year and catechism in a year, and we share our thoughts at the end of the night, which is amazing. Yeah. But anyway, we were talking, and um, we were talking about how we were so different, how we were so different before we had this fire for God in our hearts. And I remember when I was younger and this thought came back to me and I totally forgot about this. I used to be a horrible stutterer. I stuttered so badly in school and I was so bullied for it because I was always so insecure to speak up. Because you went back and so forth. Afraid. Because you went back and forth to Argentina to America, Argentina my father, to America. My father was very, very demanding of me. He expected a lot and I was never good enough. Everything I did was bad. And so I was always scared to speak up. I would never, I was never allowed to speak and I didn't have any friends. I was always around adults. So yeah, it was, I lived a very different life. Even though I was raised cradle Catholic, we weren't practicing, which is weird. You can't. No, that's very Catholic. common. You no, can't very go to common. Catholic school every day, but they just like give you to somewhere and say, okay, you take care of her. But when right. I went home, we never did the rosary. We never went to mass. We never right. talked about Jesus. We Very never did common. any of that. Very common. Very common. But, yeah, because but. parents back then didn't realize. Today, parents, they do realize. But the, the listen, the, we have to help people start to hear the Holy Spirit. My, my daughter and her boyfriend told me something that happened. Uh, where they were given an item and um, they didn't go back and pay. And then I was just like, I feel like you guys were tested and you failed the test. And I, I keep, I, I, I want to say it to them, but it keeps, it, it just, the yeah. Holy spirit keeps harassing me about it. So I, I, when we were reading this, I'm like, I have to tell them you're you, the reason why you don't see what's wrong is you're not hearing the Holy spirit. So I, I, it, they're like, yeah, but it saved us money. No. Well, put it on your to-do list so you don't forget to give them a quick little. Oh, no, I on. won't. Because I've been thinking, no, believe me, this Holy <laughs> Spirit. No, no. It's not something I want to do, Jeanette. The, when the Holy well, Spirit. Well, maybe have them listen to this. No. Have them listen to this. No, the, yeah. No, they would be mad. The Holy <laughs> Spirit is harassing me. I could not forget to do it. The Holy Spirit, since they told me. Two weeks ago, it has been harassing me. The Holy Spirit is letting, 
that's when you know the Holy Spirit is speaking to you or your guardian angel. When it's opposite of what you want to do and it keeps telling you, no, but this, no, but that, no, but this. Yeah, but I, I want to do this. No, but this, no, but this. The Holy Spirit will convict you. He will tell you. You just have to have the ears open to it. And then you have to listen. Natalie and I were talking by text last night about listening to your your guardian. Yeah, I read it. I read yeah. it this morning. Yeah. Well, then she then she sent to me privately a few things, and and I'm like, yes, exactly. You have to you have to sense the Holy Spirit. You have to sense your guardian angel, which is what we're doing in the formation. Do you, if you want to do a uh, consecration to the angels, um, email me at uh, Mama Hen's Catholic Teaching. Anyway, we're done for today. Yeah. So Don't forget your rosary, guys, to either say it or listen to it. Yeah. Somehow you can do it while you're working or while you're driving somewhere. It's only 15, 20 minutes. And they're all over YouTube. You can do scriptural or you can do regular. Scriptural is pretty And I quick, have though. the links. I have 20 yeah. minute links right below. And let me tell you something. One thing that keeps me busy while I'm doing the rosary, the 20 minute rosary, when I listen to scripture, it helps me say, oh, okay. Like this morning I was on my little stepmaster, and I was like, oh, so, so Jesus, after he did the, um, the, uh, baptism and he went into the desert immediately, he was tempted. Then he comes out and he gets his, um, uh, baptism so he did that before he did that he did or he did his baptism before he did this and then he did that before he did this so you know we know all these things in little bits but then we have to put them well first is the baptism and then this and then that and I'm like oh okay so after the proclamation then he did this oh so you see while you are listening to that you're it studying, starts, you're memorizing. Yes, yeah. yes. So the rosary, you'll never be bored, especially doing these 20 minute ones. So look at the links I put below. All right, you guys, the scriptural one is the best. Bye. Hey guys, bye.